Hi guys, how you doing? You good? Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. So today we are going to make some spicy stuffed chicken breast with a lemon cream sauce. It's going to be delicious. So, so good. So um, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And let me know if you make it or just leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. All right. Thank you so much. Let's go. Okay guys, so let's get started with the seasoning that I'm gonna season the chicken with. And I'm just gonna kinda, it's something that I just came up with. So delicious. I used it on some fries that I made the other day. It's just so good. So I'm gonna try to figure out how much I need. Cause I'm, I have two chicken breasts. So let's just, let's see. We'll take about a tablespoon of salt. And Maybe a good teaspoon and a half of black pepper. And this is optional. I know people, it's controversial, but some accents. So I'm going to do about a teaspoon and a half of that also. It's just good. I, it, it, I, I, there's nothing wrong with it. You use it sparingly. Um, it just enhances the flavors. But again, totally optional. And then I'm going to do about a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And we're going to do a good tablespoon of garlic powder, same with onion powder, and we're going to take some oregano, probably two teaspoons, oregano, and cayenne. We don't want it too, too spicy. Oh, that's totally up to you. Oh, I'm almost out. So let me just put the rest. <laughs> Plus I have the red pepper flakes. This is probably a half a teaspoon. If I had more, I'd probably add a, a teaspoon. Um, but again, that's up to you because the more you add, the more it's gonna be uh, more spicy. I love cayenne. And probably two teaspoons of chili powder. Two teaspoons of paprika. And we're going to do about a teaspoon more of ginger, ground ginger. Okay, let me mix this up and see if it should be enough. Because so I'm going to coat, we're going to coat the outside of the chicken and the inside because we're going to open it up and stuff it with the cheese. So should be good. Okay. It is. I love this stuff. It tastes good on um, French fries. Um, so we're gonna try it with our stuffed chicken here. Should be delicious. Okay, let me get some stuff put away and we will get the chicken ready. Okay, so let's get started with this chicken. So I have two chicken breasts here. Well, one's bigger than the other. <laughs> I mean, isn't that the same with human bodies? I don't know. Oh, my oven. We're actually going to do these in the air fryer, but if you don't have one, definitely, you know, you can do them in the oven. In the air fryer, um, I'm going to do it at like 375 for 15 to 20 minutes. If you want to do it in the <laughs> oven, um, I'd probably do 375 for about 35 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. Just depends. You, you just check it. Uh, if you have a thermometer, let me raise this up. Um, you want the chicken to be at a temperature of 165, but I'm going to do these with the air fryer. So let's see if I can try to butterfly this open or just cut. Not completely butterfly, just cut it so it has a little pocket for the cheese. Okay, this one a little trickier. It's like little. It's a little baby. I don't want to do it too much. Okay, that should be good. All right, so now let me hold on. Let me rinse off my hands. Wash them really. Okay, so first we're going to, I have some corn oil. It doesn't matter what oil you 
you want to use. I'm going to do corn oil. Oh, done. Okay. Let me, just so I don't keep touching, and then I can rub it all around. Okay. So we're going to rub it all around the chicken. Give it a nice little massage. And this is a big boy right here. Okay, hold on. We did lots of hand washing with this dish. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my seasoning, <coughs> excuse me, that we just did. We're gonna put some all over the chicken, insides too. The seasoning is so good, you guys. This would be good on burgers, a nice steak rub. It's just so, so good and flavorful. All these flavors, like, they come together really well. And you can make it not spicy. Like, you, can, you don't have to add any cayenne or add a lot more for super spicy. Okay, because we're going to have a little light cream sauce also for this. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, hold on. Watch out, Coco. Okay, so now I'm going to take some mozzarella cheese. Oh, look at that. This one will probably be the top. <laughs> and so for this one, I'm going to lay down some foil in my air fryer, just so if cheese oozes out, which I'm sure it will, it won't be too big of a mess. Okay, that's it you guys. So. Let's get this started in the air fryer and then we can work on our, our light cream sauce. That was perfect. Look, I had pretty much this is it. So, perfect. Okay. Let me rinse my hands off or wash them nicely. And then we'll get the air fryer going and we'll start on our sauce. Okay, let's start on this light sauce. We're gonna drizzle over our stuffed chicken. So I have this on medium high heat and I'm just going to add in a tablespoon of butter and we don't need much because we're just drizzling it so maybe like a half a cup or a little more because it's delicious sauce because I am making green beans with it so I'm going to put it over that too. <laughs> so put that in there. Let me, let's let that melt for a second and we'll add the other stuff. Okay, that's melted nicely. So now we're gonna take some chicken broth and maybe about a fourth of a cup. Of chicken broth and we're gonna take some fresh lemon. I'm just using my hand just in case there's seeds. And I just have half and I'm just gonna squeeze it here. So the chicken broth and the lemon is definitely going to make it a little bit lighter than, you know, like an Alfredo. Now, probably about two tablespoons of fresh grated Parmesan. Half a teaspoon. 
tablespoon of salt. We don't want, you know, any other flavors in here because the chicken has all that great seasoning. So I'm gonna let this thicken up a little bit and let the Parmesan melt. We'll taste it and it should be good, but then you wanna taste it to see if you need to add more salt or not. So um, that's pretty much it. We're just gonna let this sit here and, and cook. And now I have it on medium. Um, and that's basically it. So we'll come back to it and taste it and see if we need any salt or not. Okay, you guys. I checked the temperature. It's, I think it was one, almost 170, so definitely done. <laughs> Some cheese oozing out. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let me plate this up. Okay, you guys. Look at that. So I just made some green beans and some Cheddar Bay biscuits to have on the side, but sauce, we're just gonna drizzle some over the chicken and the green beans. Ooh, it's like, kind of hot. And no, it didn't need any more salt for my taste anyways. Just a little drizzle over the green beans. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of Parmesan cheese over the green beans too. Delish. And then, you know, just kind of put a little lemon in there. Okay, so good, you guys. Let me know if you try it. And again, that seasoning's so good on the French fries. It's gonna be good on burger, steak. Um, try the stuffed chicken. Let me know what you think. Or just leave me a comment and say hi. I would love to hear from you. All right, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.